Right then, guys, uh, welcome to First Minister's Questions. Uh, this week we're going to uh, keep to the old routine. Just to surprise everybody, guests today are Phil Attridge and Nori Stewart, and my name's Stuart Lockett. So, guys, uh, we'll start with Phil. He's always raring to rant, and um, we've got everybody's all party leaders. I've got a Apart from the Greens, I've got a, a shout this week. So, um, right then, Phil, how did they perform? Um, Salmon, well, to start at the top again, Salmon actually was in good form, well rested after his little sojourn in America. Um, and Joanne Lamont, um, she doesn't seem to learn, does she? She obviously doesn't read um, what other Labour Party members have been saying and all that about. And comes out with all the Tory mantras everything's free, something for nothing. Started off as well with, I mean, really crass, um, three billions worth of cuts. How are you going to do it without anybody noticing it? I'm sorry, I would expect more, um, you know, from um, a Labour Party leader. Ruth Davis, well, not actually much in there. They're kind of great when you get a Tory going on about um, cuts. cuts, you know. Willie Rennie, um, yeah, actually quite a positive engagement, um, yeah. Same story as last week, I think, wasn't it? A question. Yeah, but he was looking quite reasonable. He wasn't sort of looking like that, no, 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 no I'm not playing with you, kind of, yeah. yeah maybe just doesn't like being Nick Clegg, yeah, I suppose, yeah. yeah. On the whole, yeah, um, I'd give it to Sam again, but uh, disappointing with uh, the two first the two first oppositions, you know, Joanne and uh, Bruce. It's a bit of a sigh. Not really. Well, um, outraged, I mean... Okay. She, this is Joanne Lamont, I'm not calling her Lamont anymore, I'm calling her Lamont because she's now a Tory. Oh, no, that's true, that's a good reason oh, too. Lamont, that yeah. sounds good. Um, this personal attack thing, she did the same thing last week with Nicola Sturgeon, quoting what she earns. She's now doing it to the First Minister. She's talking about quality debate about Labour Party policy that was in their manifesto for the last election, 30 years or more of Labour you know, Party policy I mean, has been overturned. What, what, what are they playing at? Um, Hypocrisy is the game. No idea. She gets all wound up about basically nothing. And I, I, my comparison this week would be between her and Willie Rennie. Willie Rennie stood up, he had a question, well-defined, answerable question. Nursery care for, or early education for two-year-olds. No, it's logical that the sooner you intervene, the better. Sam had answered it by saying, well, we're not doing that exactly, but we have funding in the budget for early intervention, so we'll firefight it. Well, you did invite um, Willie Rennie to get involved. In well, I mean, it seems to be an all-party uh, position that, that Willie Rennie's espousing. The SNP have people who have signed up to the document he was quoting. Mm. But that, I mean, if you just compare... Lamont and Willie Rennie, there's a sensible politician. Now, I have no love for the Liberal Democrats whatsoever, but he's a man I could sit down and actually talk to. Lamont, I mean, she's man in the barricades, but her only ammunition is to sound like a Tory. It's hate. It's, the, it, it's, it's just hate and There's jealousy. nothing. I mean, the Labour Party should be telling the SNP they want them to go further down the road of social democracy not to withdraw social democratic policies. I mean, she's on a hiding to nothing. It's that tone in your voice that still exasperates me. Not, it doesn't, not, not that you saying it, it's that, you know, it's this sense of exasperation with this Labour Party. The Scottish branch oh. is now lining up beside London Labour and all those Tory policies that have destroyed further. the United Kingdom. And now they want to destroy Scotland as well. It's a but, hybrid. Well, and my voice is going up too, you see. But it's not even that. I mean, you know, God, how can they fight for the union when the Welsh are supporting what is essentially Scottish government, brackets, SNP policy? The Welsh Labour. The Welsh Labour are supporting the social democratic stance. I'm not really sure because, I mean, the, the, the party conference has given us no solid policies at all from the Labour Party. Well, they don't have I mean, any. It's, they can't call it a conference Uncle, anymore. Un Uncle Ed, who might be a bit red, but might not be. Not that uh, I've noticed. You know, we've got his his history. You know, we know about his dad, his mum, how they came across here from Germany, da 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 And we should be a united nation because 
everybody was quite nice to them. All right, well, we can rant about One Disraeli's Nation later. Let's try and get, just we can sum up, you know, um, we've got four leaders and four performances. You've not mentioned Salmon, who's back on the, on the, on the playing Actually, field. Actually, Salmon stumbled a couple of times today. Yeah, he did. Just in delivery, he, he wasn't quite as on the ball. I, I got the impression that it would, it, I mean, it's kind of, how do you say to the Labour Party, you're Conservatives? And you're hypocrites. How, how can you do that? I mean, even he seems to be a bit exasperated. Well, I'm exasperated you know? because the, <laughs> it's just how weird. can you deny the, 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 you know? the moat in your eye? Well, and, you know, the other thing is he just ignored the personal attacks. He just, you know, it's a personal attack. You want a reason to debate? Mm -hmm. Well, we'll have a reason to debate. Oh, what you actually want to do is slag me as an individual. Well, I'll just ignore yeah, that. The, the, the personal attacks, which are originally rather pathetic, uh, like I said from last week, um, and it really is a bit rich. Well, three from, weeks in a row. Well, it's, yeah, but it's really rich coming from the front bench of Labour. When you look at the last Labour government, 13 years, and a huge proportion of the front bench, all you could see were the soles of their feet. They were so far down in the trough. Um, <laughs> just getting that's all you could see was the soles of their feet Airmen, and spin doctors, directorships, uh, every, consultancies. Every, every other person in John Smith House was a spin doctor. Uh, they can't, they can't watch. Have, have they not been watching in the thick of it? I'm sorry, it was probably worse what, than that. What's this spin doctor that they're paid a million pounds to or something? Right. Well, no, it's yeah. apparently the the bill uh, for special uh, advisors. For special advisors is now gone up to a million pounds, right? Whatever that is. But uh, what did nobody mention, because it was buried in the independent, poorly, I just spotted it at four o'clock this morning, was that the Labour Party HQ in London is doubling its volun it's not no, it's part time paid advisors from a hundred to two hundred. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it was an independent. If you know, I'm surprised <laughs> that Salmon wasn't briefed on it. <laughs> I shall, uh, I shall refer to it again next week. Uh, Performance-wise, I'm thinking about, as I say, Joanne, that's three weeks in a row she's been on personal attacks. I can't be, could, could stretch further back, but certainly three weeks in a row now. Um, she's happy with the, the press she's getting, because it's, it's gone even more Labour Party press, and, and is a very unionist press here in Scotland. She's happy with that. Um, and, and all this pointing. Oh, no. just, and all this, and what about... What about Sarah Boyack sat right behind her? I thought, I, I had a, you know, a sneaking respect for her. She's been a, an MSP here in Edinburgh for, for a while. Banging away at the table, straight into the, she's <coughs> right in the middle of the frame of the camera, looking like a twit. Yeah, but they're also a child at school. Yeah, but they're banging the behaved. table. You know, normally when you see people banging, or you see them at Westminster when they're banging, they're all kind of excited, you know. But there it's like zombies. I mean, there's... Expressionless, it's almost like yeah, an annual old bang, it's almost like it's um, yeah, choreographed, it's yeah. strange. Salmon went on to, yeah I agree with you guys, he wasn't in his best form, um, he seemed to be slightly caught out on facts. Or maybe it's maybe it's um, a comparison like? after last week, no after last no, week. Well that's true, Nicola week, was very good. First class. Um, uh, and Ruth, I can't be bothered mentioning Ruth. Uh, she but, did, did she not just, I mean this whole attack on the cum curriculum for excellence? But how, I mean, you know, I, what's that about? And it's this she flash had, Harry bit. Let's be honest. What, no, what she should be doing is standing up going, well, my criticism is you're not cutting deep enough. You have to get rid of all these working class pleb types out of universities and colleges and start charging rich people to go. That's Tory policy. But what's the flash Harry bit? But she, she gets like up this. and says, no, no, no. Free education, we need more money for more free education. The whole world has been turned upside down at Hollywood. But she's, her job We've got is, Labour her, people asking for yeah, Tory but, policies, yeah, but, but, Tory people asking for Labour yeah, policies. Well, that's fair enough. Anyway, she's really, and making on. Willie look a reasonable right. opposition. Anyway, leader. she's not she's not making much of a um, fist of it, she's kind of repeating herself. And it's, she was in very shaky ground. I have to agree with Willie, although going back, this, it was the same topic he raised last week, which is pre three year old um, education of some kind, some kind, and the possibility of. Quite clearly, it's also there's some policy that's being implemented in England, and he wants it imported to Scotland. But it, we're only talking about a pilot scheme that will uh, will no, <laughs> affect it, one percent. I'd of like to know no, detail. No, no. It's, it's a forty percent target in England. Oh yes, but they're, they're only want, they're, but he only wants to implement a one percent. Well, the only pilot reason, study in Scotland. The only the reason the Tories are doing it in England is because it's cheaper to get three-year-olds. 
to sign contracts to go up chimneys. <laughs> That's the only reason. Well, I have to say, I have to say on uh, Molly Rennie's uh, behalf, he was pointedly asking about the under threes, and on the sec when he asked the question a second time, it was very clear what he was asking about, mm. and Salmond responded by talking about the three and four year olds. He definitely avoided the question. No, what he said was that they had produced intervention money mm. for the two year two year olds. And my understanding... No, he didn't actually say that. No, he did. Well, all right. He made a point of saying the budget had finance to look at it. We disagree. Well, they're having a commission to look at it. So let's think yeah, about... Yeah. Let's think about... There's no actual money for it. Yeah. No, no, there is money for it. There's budget so for intervention. We, yeah, so we've got... Yeah, no, no, we've, no, uh, yeah. Might be slightly different. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got Joanne... I'm going to score the first this week and you can come, up, come after us. Joanne... Ooh, I thought she, I mean, she, she's just been repeating herself with a big speech. It's all red and it's all, it's the same pointing and, and personal attack. It's like she's in the steamy argument with her neighbour. I'll give her four. Ruth, why did you bother standing up? I'll give her two. Willie Rennie, I'll give him, yeah, I'll give him a personal five. And Alec, on his own league, he wasn't at his best, I'll give him an eight. Joanna Lemon, I'm sorry. She, every week I see her, I can imagine her in one of these rip, wrap round pennies, with her arms folded, swearing and cursing at her neighbour, a her mouth. who clipped her wee laddie, right. who was a bully anyway and deserved it. Well, she's just, she's just totally losing any respect. She has no statesmanlike look to her at all. So she's getting nothing this week. Oh well. I mean, you can't ask for a serious debate and then start attacking people on a personal level. That's that true. is not a serious debate. Okay. What the other? That's schoolyard politics. Ruth? Ruth, what can she do? It's all her fault anyway. So, you know, she's presentation's a good. She's obviously yeah, got she's a sense of humor. For London. She gets up and smiles, but there's no substance to what, what she asks. Anything she asks for substance, he can blow out the water because he can blame her masters in Westminster. Mm, three. Three I'll give her, because I do like her smile. Really? Willie, I, see, mm. Willie made, his contribution made Lamont look like well, yeah. that mm. bad-tempered neighbour in the scheming. Okay. He had a much more statesman-like approach. There was substance to his question. It wasn't a party political, politicaling. It, it was a sensible question. It was what the Scottish Parliament should be out about. I mean, was it Sarah Boyette that got slapped down by the chair today? Yep. You know, you're not at Westminster no. now. Quite right too. Mm -hmm. Let's look better, let's be better, let's achieve more. Mm -hmm. Willie, definite five today. Definite for possible six actually. I'll go for a six. Yeah, Alex? I, I, I was going to go over high. Alex, I didn't think he did that well. Um, as you said earlier, maybe jet lagged, whatever. I stumbled over a few things. It wasn't as clear cut. How how do you how do you argue with somebody who agreed with your policies a year ago? All you can say to them is, you know, you're liars. It's in your manifesto. Now you're reneging on it, and you're Tories. That's all he can do. I mean, he must be very confused about what Labour Party policy actually is now. But not that great this week. I'll give him a seven. I'll give him a seven. Right then, Phil. Score them. Joanne, ah, oh, yeah, uh, I mean, I, well, I mean, after listening to her there with the Tory, Tartan Tories, not of this one, but, but previous that, kind of lost the plot, um, and you, she didn't sound statesmanlike, really, because, you know, what does, I mean, what, what does a statesman look like? But, but did, her, yeah. her content doesn't allow yeah. her to sound yeah, it's like a whole, anything, it's a whole, uh, her, a score, whole Phil, demeanor. a score. Um, a score, four. Um, I'd right. give her a four. Um, I'd give Ruth the same because at least you've got like a little interlude from the stage, Flash Harry, um, the smile. Flash Willie, Harry, I'll remember that. Yeah, Willie, I'll give, yeah, just for his, I'll give him six. Oh. And um, it's, it's the highest score of ever, I think, this week. Well, yeah, well, just because, well, the others actually made him look good. Yes, that's, that's the difference. That uh, that's, that's true. Uh, I think. Not that he was that good, uh, but it's all about that, isn't it? And Alec, well, yeah, maybe jet lag, but an eight. Well, guys, I think we've uh, surprised ourselves by, I mean, <laughs> in terms of some of these quiz scoring that you see on TV, Willie Rennie actually won this week. 
Yeah, I think yeah, probably, no, he's, he's probably got his best score ever. Best and he had that, was that, was that, that little puzzled look he has on his face. You know, I'm just trying to be nice. You know, what I mean? it was it was quite well crafted. And thank as he says, the others made him look really good. Thank you, thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.